Hydroelectricity isn't exactly clean energy. It actually emits greenhouse gases, and it's not quite as green as you think. When forests are flooded to create reservoirs, the submerged plants and soil begin to rot without oxygen. This releases methane, which is over 25 times stronger than carbon dioxide at trapping heat in our atmosphere. And here's the shocking part. Some hydro dams in tropical regions are actually climate villains. For example, Brazil's Balbina Dam flooded a huge chunk of rainforest, but barely produces any power. Scientists discovered it pumps out more methane per kilowatt hour than a smoky coal plant. But not all dams are created equal. In colder countries like Canada or Norway, emissions are much lower because vegetation decomposes more slowly. Plus, a dam's carbon footprint shrinks significantly over time. So, is hydro a good solution? Well, it's complicated. Large dams carry serious risks. If a dam overflows or fails, it can unleash catastrophic floods on communities downstream. And with climate change intensifying extreme rainfall, those risks are only increasing. Dams also concentrate control of water in the hands of a few, often cutting off access for millions. They disrupt delicate ecosystems across vast regions and worsen water scarcity, especially in a warming world. They even interfere with the natural flow of nutrients from rivers to oceans, damaging coastal ecosystems and contributing to the rise of so-called ocean deserts, where marine life struggles to survive. That's why, lately, some countries like Italy and France are removing older dams, not because they're anti-renewable, but to let rivers flow naturally again, protect biodiversity and reduce disaster risk. Hydropower may serve as a bridge between the fossil-fueled past and a cleaner future, but it was never meant to be the final stop. As we learn more about its hidden costs to rivers, ecosystems, oceans and communities, future generations may choose to dismantle the very dams we once celebrated. Because while hydro offers cleaner energy today, it does so by trading one kind of damage for another. It's not the villain fossil fuels are, but it's no hero either. It's power, borrowed from nature, with a bill that always comes due. Big questions don't have easy answers, but that's what we're here for. Subscribe for more on Inside Wiki.